are here. It's Happy Friday. I'm Danielle. I'm Jessica. And I'm Jessie. And we are going to show you today how to do a reverse canvas. Every now and then we like to throw in a little craft project for everybody. Uh, so this is our, you know, craft project for, for the month or, you know, every other month. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but along with that, we are also um, promoting some of our new seasonal easy patterns by Caesar. Uh, so we're going to use the autumn leaves today, and we also have a couple of the other ones. You have your jack-o'-lanterns, and I believe this is Halloween party, and then your uh, pink ribbons. So a nice little variety for, for this season, and it seems to be something that they'll kind of continue, uh, you know, promoting to do, you know, different patterns per season. So that's definitely something to look forward to uh, for the Caesar line. But these are limited, right? Yes, limited edition. So when they are sold out, they are gone. So make sure you stock up and get those. All right, we're good? Yes. Okay. So the first thing you want to do with your reverse canvas is get a canvas. They have, um, these, I got these at a craft store. So what you do, Jesse's zooming in here for me, you're going to just get your X-Acto blade and you're going to trim on this side of your staple. So that way you're separating the canvas from the wood frame. Hi Jody. Good morning, Barbara. Hello, Cheryl. There's no need to remove the staples because it's going to be on the back side of your frame. And removing these staples uh, could be pretty hazardous, as I attempted earlier. Um, so let's not remove them. Let's just keep them in there. Very tedious and painful. Who needs that in your life? No. Thank you, Nathan. He posted the link to the vinyl so you can find it on the website if you're viewing this on our Facebook Live. And we're just gonna release this so that way we can get, so I can show you the, the stain part. And then we kind of did a bit of a cooking show and have ones already ready for you because the stain sort of takes a while to dry. Speaking of cooking, I can't wait to eat. I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Those days, some days, you know, you're hungrier than other days. Reminds me of those satisfying videos when you watch them while they do some peel. <laughs> Once you get it going, it's really easy. Now, if I were to remove all these staples, we would be here a whole lot longer. You're just going to get it so that your canvas releases but these corners. They like kind of get them doubled on there. <laughs> Did I almost hit you? I'm sorry. I don't know. I just saw like the light reflect off of the end of it. I don't know if I was going to get work this or not. <laughs> I don't know if it works for Facebook Live. <laughs> Next time I throw myself. <laughs> All right. Come on. Little tricky corner. The good thing about this is that no matter what, this is like the back side and you won't need all this extra canvas. Why do you not want to cut? My blade must be dull. There we go. I don't know, the thing is looking kind of Whew. tetanus shot. Hey, hey, so. hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so our canvas is loose and free. Sort of, there we go. Woo! Put this aside. <laughs> now you're gonna take this Flip it over. See how pretty this side is? It has like a nice little edge. Not pretty. Pretty. We're going to stain the pretty side. You can use um, I'll, either oil or water-based stain or paint, whichever one you want. Should I protect this one? Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. We have an extra one. And just... 
Oh my, I didn't wash my brush off, so now it's being really, really quite mushy here. Usually when you uh, do foam brushes, they're very foamy. My foam brush uh, was not washed and cleaned, so it's a little stiff. stiff. <laughs> but okay, fast forward, done, yay! <laughs> Woo! Wow, look at how great that looks. What a great stain. Okay, so. We don't need that. That's, that's, all, that's all we're gonna do with the stain. You get the idea though. You stain all around it, and then we'll close this up because it also smells. Um, okay, so. Moving to the next step, we have our vinyl. And we, like I said, we use our seasonal pattern. My hands are clean. So that's another step. All right, so seasonal patterns. You do not mirror these designs. You cut directly onto the colored side. And we're gonna cut this. Okay, let's just trim that away. Don't laugh at me, Jess. No, I'm actually, that was smart, because if it was me, I would have left a little tiny border and just took the whole border off. <laughs> then we're gonna take our TTD high tack mask. This is just gonna allow you to release it from this paper and put it onto this, so that way we can go uh, and heat press it onto our canvas. Yeah, that's good. I thought I had one in there, but, ooh, got my hair on that. Uh, fold, the kind of fold it, it, and then squish it down. Oh, here's this reader. It's a very messy drawer. It's like the junk drawer in your kitchen. It has everything but... But what we need. That's all right. Well, we'll see if this works. That's what I brought the rubber out. Rub on the back side of it, and then we will peel it up. Oh, that stain does smell. Sorry. It's okay. That one here, I don't smell all type of. <laughs> That's the oil. <laughs> the oil based one does have a bit of a, a smell to it, but the um the other one's not so bad. The water based. Okay. So now we're gonna take our canvas. This you don't really need to be perfect on it, like you know, to make sure it's centered or anything, because you are going to trim it. So. What I would do is just place it sort of where you think is the middle or where you think you might want it to go. And then just put your frame on top to make sure you have plenty of room, which which we do all the way around. Um, Chelsea, we could check that later when we could get into the system and check um, the stock of that one. Hi, Terry. It's okay, you're late. Did you? Better late than never. She said, sorry, I'm late. And I oh, said, better late than never. I thought you said, it's okay, you're late. Like, <laughs> I said, like, calling her out that she's late. Hi, Jenny. My condolences. Hi, Teresa. Cheryl said, that autumn is everything. It is nice. They really picked oh. a real nice collection of leaves. Yes. And none of them are browning or crumpled. Like, these are, like, model <laughs> leaves. <laughs> All right. So, we're at um, 3.05 for... Uh, 14 seconds press that up and then that's going to go on to our canvas and oh hey butch butch is here i'll just throw this in daniel's chair <laughs> so mean to me sometimes <laughs> i make her laugh oh that was like a piece of i got scared so did i i was about to divert attention over here like <laughs> let's talk more about these patterns don't look over there was a piece of canvas or some some little piece of paper that got stuck on top of my my sheet it but was it's like what are these little pieces it's all good so yay perfect okay so now now the hard slash easy part i guess is really just positioning this where we want it so go away here i am going to make sure that it's straight less any hair that might be falling in and i don't know if you guys can really see this but once it was heated on like the colors are really popping it's it's really nice okay let me just make sure that i am 
Hey, Shante. Sure, kind of even. Cheryl said how many seconds? Oh, uh, I did 15. Well, no, 14. And I am not quite even. We're going to move it this way. All right. This is going to be, you know, we might have to get it and then eyeball it, but so far, I think we're we're pretty good. Yeah, because from this angle, I'm like, it looks good when you first <laughs> laid it down. <laughs> so that one night you're home just staring off on your wall like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, you don't want it to be uneven. Patty says she loves this idea. I love how nice it looks when it's all done. It really does, you know, make such like a canvas turn into a really nice finished project. I think that's good enough. I, I could probably be uh, going back and forth with this for a while. All right, now, let me scoot the heat press over a little bit. Take this and very carefully flip. Ta-da. <laughs> and now, get your staple gun out. Oh, thank you, Teresa. She said she just sent a new customer our way for the heat press that we're using. She told him to love it and our great customer service. Thank you. I am uh, definitely not a pro with the staple gun, so please don't judge. <laughs> we can just hammer those babies in later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jess, you like jumped on that one. Each one, you know my hearing's bad, and it's like pop and gunshots. Oh, no, I'm out. <laughs> Hold on. Where'd it go? Oh no, I'm not out. It just got stuck. It sure did. Okay, let me go back. Funny story, one time I broke my flip flop when I worked here. <laughs> and I had to use the staple gun to staple it back to oh, the no. rest of the day. That's why I always keep an extra pair of flip-flops in my car, just in case. You never know the situation. <laughs> okay. So, done. Now, you have this weird leftover. Nobody wants that. Take your knife again. And cut the excess. Because keep in mind, this is the back. Right. Karen says she's loved doing reverse canvases. Easy and fun to do. Shante said, what size vinyl roll are these easy patterns? They're, They're 12, I think. Yeah, 12 inches. Yeah. And then once you do this, then you're going to go back and just kind of tighten some areas. Like, put another one there. Just to kind of... Interesting Make it question. settle best. Can you do the canvas and put it on a chair cushion? Mm, it's possible. Know. On a chair cushion? Like you sit on or the back of the chair? I'm assuming the back of the chair. Maybe to decorate it. So you put the vinyl on a chair cushion? Sure. Why not? If it's on the back part, do you want to decorate the back part? I mean, keep in mind, disclaimer, we have not tested this. We don't know for sure if it'll work, but we don't see the reason why it would not work. Unless it's on the bottom part where people are constantly putting friction. Is it straight? It looks a it little looks crooked now that I look at it. It looks pretty good looks to me. It looks good to me, but I'm on this angle. It looks good. It's just <laughs> slightly maybe, but it's, slightly it's not. It's It looks good, I think. But not bad for, you know, a 10-minute craft there. Mm -hmm. And now it's all done. All right, any other questions? Nope, we got it all. All right. Well, of course, if you have any questions, make sure you send us an email or give us a call, and we will see you here next week. Bye, everybody.